Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm really thrilled you're here today to have a little play with me. Um, I have all kinds of things to show you um, and a little project to work on. So welcome everyone and hugs and kisses to all of my regular subscribers who follow me, who are subscribed, who hit the little notification button, and who comment on my videos. Thank you so much. We're going to play a little game today. So one of the games is I want to figure out how you found out about me. Did you find me on YouTube? Were, did you find me through Gail? Did you find me on Pinterest? Did you find me through Instagram? So if you could do me a little favor, even if you don't normally um, comment on my videos, if you could just give me, if you don't normally comment, if you could just give me one word telling me, well, not a word, but tell me how you found me. Did you, who, where did you find me? YouTube suggested Gail, you know, how did you find out about my channel? If you're a regular commenter, of course, please add it to your regular comment. So I kind of want to get a feel for what's working and what isn't. It's real important to me. So if you could do that, I totally, totally appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing so that you know when I have videos out and I have a new one. So today I have a new video for you. Um, you know, to be honest, I really have my mojo, my creative mojo has been flat as can be. I'm really, really, really struggling to, um, you know, come up with anything creative. So I decided to have a little play and I made this lovely um, file folder pouch. This is an ephemera. I'm going to call it an ephemera pouch. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And I did not um, do this on camera. It's just, it would be too hard. I had found myself running back and forth between my two studios and climbing on stools and chairs and ladders to get laces and pulling down boxes and clawing, crawling under my table. So it just wasn't something I felt like this particular one I could do because I didn't know what I was going to use. So I used a file folder and it's coffee dyed. And um, I talked about that a little bit, how I did, had a day where I just did a ton of coffee dyeing. Well, this is what I was coffee dyeing was file folders. I stitched it, I cut it down, stitched it down the sides. I stamped it. I used a little white paint. Um, I stamped it in two or three colors. And then I decorated the front. And um, I have a little pocket here right here and then I have a pocket here to fill up with ephemera and I use some of my um, mm, embellishment pieces from my stash um, this is one of those pieces that I use the um, modeling paste for not modeling paste what do you call it spackle um, I spackled onto some cardstock that had been coffee dyed um, I added some gold trim and, and all kinds of fun sparkly bits all over laces and um, little mini doilies and I had little padding work I have roses um, there are little um, oh, what do you call those the sparkly little bits that go on tutus and things <laughs> I don't have the word oh no well it'll come back anyway lots of bits and pieces all over all vintage laces um, and a lot of these laces actually came from my good friend and buddy and sister to, of the heart, Gail, um, who sent them to me for my birthday one year. And um, so I used all my hoards. I, this, I've been hoarding these laces from her. And then a few others that I got elsewhere, but, um, and, and made this pretty pouch. And then I made a little dangle and it has a pretty little heart and it's got some little sparklies. I don't know if you could see a pretty little bow. It's on a little bulb pin um, and it's got some pretty laces and just bits and pieces of things to go on the side. So our goal is to fill this full of ephemera and all different kinds of ephemera, you know, in the same style as the little pouch. And so this is a vintage lace pouch, shabby style. Um, so I want to fill that up. So that's kind of what we're going to be working on today is making some things that go in here and then we'll go through our stash, see what else we have that we've been making um, and see if we can fill this puppy up. So that is what I've been making. Um, 
I don't know if I'll ever do one. I don't, I doubt I would make one on camera just because it's a lot of work. Now, I had originally planned to put, um, like, like this and fill it up. There was four pockets on here. I had four pockets scheduled to go on here and I just, I don't know. I didn't feel like making one like that. I've done those before. I do have a video for those. Um, so I thought, well, maybe I would put it on the back, but then again, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think I'm going to keep this just as its own piece. I'll have to cover it because I had a weird reaction to the coffee dyeing. I put it on a rack and it turned black. So there was a reaction to the metal racks they were sitting on and the acidity of the coffee and it created these black marks. So I'll have to cover that up. Um, but I think I'll just make this a little mini envelope and fill it up or a mini pouch. So, and then I took some of the leftover scraps from that and um, I embossed it. And then this one is probably just going to be, we'll make this a, a tag, you know, that we can write on and put in there, you know, put a tag in there. And then this I'll probably find a way to use too. Um, so, oh gosh, the phone's ringing. Well, there's no one home. The answering machine will just have to pick up um, our numbers unlisted. So it's probably, my guess is what I call junk mail calls. Um, so it's probably just a scammer, spammer, whatever you want to call it. And our phone talks, so it tells you who it is. So <laughs> ignore the voice that you hear. It's, it's not Siri. I don't have Siri. So anyway, this is a project I've been working on for a few days. Um, but I, I sort of struggled with it because my, like I said, my mojo just isn't there. I'm knocking everything on the floor here, probably because we've had our granddaughters for about 10 days, uh, over 10 days. And, you know, it's been a real long, long time for all of us. So I had something else I wanted to share, this beautiful picture of some roses that my husband gave me. They are pink roses dipped in gold, and that is what my mat is back here, but this is the original of that, and so um, I just had to show you those. They're so gorgeous. They're so gorgeous that I decided to not only print it and use it as a background, but I printed it on vellum. Oh, this is vellum. Isn't that pretty? So... They came out quite beautiful on the vellum. So I, I will probably be using these in something in the future, I'm sure. But I thought I'd show you that you could take a photo and print it on vellum and create your own printed vellum. All right, let me set this stuff off to the side. Um, we may look at that pouch to, to get an idea of what we're going to do here. Now today, we're going to make some photo fabric lacy journaling cards. And we're going to use... Uh, cabinet cards. These photos are all from Artie Mays. Uh, her kit one and two for her vintage ladies or pretty ladies. I'm not sure what she calls them, but uh, I think I have all of hers. Um, so, and then this one I was playing with and I glued some, some little uh, flowers to it. I thought that was fun. And then I grabbed out some fabrics that I thought would, would look nice. Um, if I made ephemera, that one's a little bright, but these others, I think, would go well if I made cards to go in here or tags or something like that. And then I also um, grabbed some laces, which I, I cut some pieces off of my, my big laces. So we would have different laces and different colors to play with. And then I also grabbed some background pages from my, um, my digitals that I have um, in my shop. So I do have these uh, I don't think this one's in there, but all these others, I, think, I don't think this one's in there either because they're just plain bits. But all of the other documents um, I have here are are in my under Vintage Paper Girl under Jewel Design. So if you need some background pages, that's what we've got. So I'm going to put these things off to the side. And I already had in my stash a bunch of cardboard, uh, leftover cardboard pieces cut up um, to use for tags. So as you can tell, I'm, I'm still struggling a little bit. Please forgive me. Um, but I really want to make these and, um, I feel like maybe once I get going, you know, everything should kick in. I've got to kickstart this mojo or I'm going to be in big trouble. Now these that are pre-cut are, uh, well, this one is four by six and three quarters. I find that might be a bit tall. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, We'll try one and see if we need to make the next one smaller or whether we like that size. I need some papers here. 
probably the first thing to do is pick my fabric. Let's see, which one do I want to do first? Maybe if we pick our lady. I feel like that needs to go with something blue. I think this would go a bit. I think she would look lovely with that or something darker. She's really, really pretty. I really like her with that. I think she's very feminine. I tried to pick up the ones that had pink that I thought would look great with the fabrics. Um, let's see, do I like her? Or do I like her? Well, how are all of you? I hope you're well, you're feeling well, you're doing well, things are good with you. I hope everyone's doing fine. I'm gonna start with those two. I doubt I'll get more than two done, but you never know. Afterwards, I will just keep working. So now I need to find some paper. I hope you're all well, happy, safe, on vacation maybe. Hopefully your summer has started for you. And, you know, you're got the kids or the grandkids or you're, I don't know if you're on the vacation, traveling, or still just working, you know? I'm aware that not everybody gets a summer vacation. Most people don't take vacations anymore. So, unless they have little ones, it seems like, or they're traveling, you know, because they're retired like we are. Although we're hoping to start that soon. So, but we can't because right now we have to do floors. So, no traveling as of yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, let's see, which one should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, let's start with that one. Although I really love this print. I don't know. Maybe I'll start with this one. <laughs> Talk about indecision. So, anyway, uh, my son-in-law and my daughter are due home on Friday, June 3rd. So hopefully they, when you see this video, it should be Wednesday. Um, and hopefully they came home. And as far as I know, they're on a plane right now while I'm doing this. Probably also why I'm a little distracted um, because I know I'm going to have to quit here pretty soon and go on over to the house and hang with them. Not have to, want to go over to the house and hang with them. Um, so... Once my, I, I, I want to see my son-in-law and my daughter and see how they're doing and make sure everything's good and see if they need anything before we, you know, turn the kids back over to their parents. It's been a really long couple of days. Uh, we all love each other, but you know, I think there's a limit when you're not, I mean, when you, I see my granddaughters all the time, but for short periods of time, it's been three years since we've had their care, so... Um, and we had them for three weeks the last time when my son-in-law first got cancer. Um, so we haven't had to do that more three years older. They're older. So it was a different, a different situation. And this time my youngest granddaughter, um, was being homeschooled. So it meant somebody had to homeschool her, which was my husband, not me. Um, I just don't have that in me. I don't have the patience. <laughs> Not good with that kind of thing. So he he took on the job. So we're both, and I took care of everything here. Took care of the business and um, all the other stuff, all the animals, all the chores, all the water, you know, everything, all, everything. Things that my husband normally does for me. Um, I did had to do so it was a different a different time for us that's for sure and part of it I think the lack of part of my lack of my mojo is I'm just flat out tired <laughs> so so not used to this okay so I cut that out I wanted a little something behind everything we were going to do here um, because I don't think the photos are not particularly large I mean they're a good size I'm thinking I don't want all of that. I, I probably want that to be cut way down. So I'm going to, I'm gonna do this with scissors. So I just think it's gonna be easier for me. Let me do this. How come every single time I turn on a video, someone decides to do yard work? And I know I'm not the only one this happens to. I was watching another video and she says doggone it I, this is like the fifth time i've tried to do this video and every single time somebody decides it's time to mow their lawn i hear you <laughs> i feel your pain the struggle is real oh my gosh i don't know if you guys can hear it or not but it's sort of distracting to me i'm going to try to ignore it because i'm going to work on this 
and I don't want to close the window. It's a beautiful, cool morning. It's been hot the last couple days, and I was really looking forward to 70 degree weather today. I think she needs to have the corners rounded. I like the corners rounded on all of my cabinet cards. Many of my vintage ones that I have are rounded like that, so it seems like the faux ones should be rounded as well. Let's put a little ink on here. I thought I would play with these. I haven't done um, fabric on top of fabric and lace on top of journaling cards or tags in a while. So I thought it would be fun to maybe try that out today. So it's been a long time since I did anything like this. So this is kind of a, um, what's the word? Experiment. So... I'm gonna, I'm thinking, because uh, I want some of the writing to show. I don't know if that cut. Oh, and of course, it's against, oh, man. Well, let's see if I maybe cut with these, if I can get it to rip. Oh, that's the salvage. That's why it's not ripping. Let me get past it. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. I just had to get past the salvage edge. That's the manufacturer's edge on a piece of fabric. I just want to rip it. I don't want it to be perfection. I want it to be shabby. And I want to cover, hmm. I feel like this is kind of an odd height. I feel like it's too tall, it's bothering me. I don't know why, but it is. It's bothering me. I feel like it's just too, too tall. It needs to be less. So I'm going to cut off a little bit of that. And, oh gosh, my paper cutter is in my other studio. Ugh, I was doing a bunch of, um, using my Big Shot. Let's just make this, I'll keep that little bit, um, six inches tall. And we will use the decalage cutter to give it a little different look. Why not? Since I don't have my regular cutter in here. Now we'll put this on because I want to see a bit of the writing. I feel like this still ended up being way too long. Okay. And it's wide. I think it's just a bit too wide. Oh, hopefully I didn't make that. No, it's too, too skinny. Because <sighs> it ripped wide at the top and skinny at the bottom. Had it stayed like that, it would have been fine. Alrighty. Well, we'll just do something different than I was going to do. No biggie. I mean, we can do that, right? We don't have to do it exactly like I was going to do it. We'll, we'll do a little different. We'll do something a bit different. Ah, okay. Threads, threads everywhere. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I do keep the threads and ball them up and, and use them in projects. So... Uh, I got this beautiful fabric on Amazon in a bundle, and it came from England, which I was thrilled to get some rose print fabrics clear from England. I was so excited. It took a long time to get here, but I was happy to wait, because it's beautiful. All righty. I don't know if it came from France or England, but anyway, so we have that on there. Now, the other thing I want to add is lace. So let's get out some lace. What color lace do we want? Mm, how big a lace do we want? She's got a very lacy top on. This is very vintage. I could do pink. Would pink work? Do we think? If we put the pink lace, I'm actually thinking I'm gonna put the lace over the fabric. Or do we want to go? 
I think I kind of like it like that. I think I like the lace on the... So let me cut this first things first. Let me figure out how white I want it. I'm going to run out of room to my right here. Whoa. <laughs> now, this is a bit... There we go. So if we put that on, and then we put this on, and then we put this on. Isn't that pretty? And I feel like something needs to be behind that. So let me grab, this is my painter's paper. I want to put this kind of behind it. Let me see if this is the right width. Yeah, that'll work. Well, that did not rip very well. What's new with you guys? I know a lot of you, your grandchildren graduated or your nieces and nephews or your children. Um, and many of you are heading off for trips. Anybody going anyplace fun, exciting, anything new? I'm gonna try, huh, you know how much I love to do this. <clears throat> I don't want the straight edge. Now, did I cut it too small? No, I did okay. I don't want the top to be straight, uh, but it's still cutting straight. Okay, there I go again, covering up my garbage can. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to find a new home for my garbage can, I think, because where I have it sitting, I'm gonna put it up in front of me, it just, um, Yeah, I think I like this in like this. And then I'm going to put that there. Okay. If I don't like it, I can always go back and um, uh, let's see. I can go back and cut it off. I'm using glue stick. Okay, guys, I, I'm sorry. I just had the third. Um, all the gardeners came on Wednesday, so I don't know who is getting their lawns done today, but oh my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and... There we go. Had to close my window. Just had to. Couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm very sound sensitive anyway, so... Alrighty. Let's see. What am I doing here? I have to say, I am going to miss my granddaughters, you know, they, they've been good company and um, quite fun and, you know, we had a good time with them. But it was a busy time, you know, with them both still being in school and finishing school and all that good stuff, so... Not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's get a little ink on that. At the rate I'm going, I'm only gonna get one done. Oh, well, we'll see. Now, where did, oh, there we go. 
I'm like, where did everything go? Okay, so we're gonna put the lace on next. And there is a top and a bottom to this lace for sure. And I like to put it on with glue stick because this glue stick works very, very well on fabric and lace and all kinds of stuff. If it doesn't, I can always go back with my Fabri-Tac or my art glitter glue. Okay, let's get our little spatulas out. Actually, I think these are makeup goodies. I think I showed them to you in another video I got at the Dollar Tree. Works so well. Okay, so we've got that on there. Now next, we're going to put on our fabric. I'm looking to see if the pattern really goes any one way or another, but not really. I'm gonna move that over a bit and put that on. Oh, isn't that cute? So cute. So cute. Okay, so I'm thinking glue stick probably. Hello. <laughs> Misty's over here laying by the door and oh my gosh, she just I just threw that lid across the floor and she went chasing it. What was I going to do? Oh, fab, uh, the, here we go, glue. Let's see how we do with this glue. Today is Friday, right? Uh, oh, I'm making this on Friday. Sorry, guys. It'd be Wednesday for you, which would be a long day. <laughs> for real, at my house. But I'm making this on a Friday, hoping for no issues with wands. I think I want to cut this off. It's a bit long. There we go. That's better. Eh. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. Get up there. Come on now. I want some strings, but n not that messy. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to have to add a little more glue to the corner. Feeling extremely uncoordinated today. <laughs> uh, I think I only slept about four hours last night. And my poor little granddaughter, this morning while she was getting ready to go back to her house to do her homeschooling for the day, slipped and fell down the stairs she didn't hurt herself but i was dead asleep because they go pretty early in the morning um, my husband takes them back to their house so they can school homeschool and um they sleep over at our house at night then he has them at their house during most of the day so she slipped and fell down the stairs and she's okay but she's on my mind right now so i'm probably going to leave as soon as i finish this video and go and see her make sure she's okay Grandpa says she's fine, but you know, Grandma just got to take a look. I did get up and go look and asked her if she was okay. She said she is, but she mainly, she was holding on enough that when she slipped, she didn't tumble all the way down, but she did bang some knees and elbows. So I imagine we're going to have some bruises <laughs> to have her mom, you know, keep an eye on them. So... There's that one. Now, I feel like she needs something else. Should we round the corners? I kind of feel like we should. Ugh, look at that. Here we go again. <laughs> the usual. Oh, I forgot where my garbage was. <laughs> I moved it. <laughs> Brain food. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, all right. Yes, here we are. All righty, there we go. I gotta get in my creative groove here. You know what it is, is I haven't. I just need to get my groove going. I gotta get my groove on. There we go. And now let's go back and re-ink that a bit more. 
Oh, I love this. I'm really, really happy with it. Do you guys like it? Okay, now this is when we use our little boxes to do a little decorating. I have to see what I have. I want to see what I have in here. Do I have any? It's a little bright. A little bright. Maybe a little bit here. And then like add a little word or something or paper a clip or something. Um, 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 um. Okay, that's that light, so I don't want to use that one. Alright, so put that over there for a minute. We will, this is some crocheted vintage lace that I cut, so obviously I can make it a little more, a little more shabby, and then maybe get a little age on it. Not that it isn't old and yellowy already, but I was thinking kind of like in the corner like that, and we need a word, you guys, we need a word. So what words should we use? Um... Mm. Maybe one of Jolene's words. I think these are her, these are her, I don't know if these are the sewing words or the vintage words or, no, I think these are the fashionable words. Mm, I like the word fashionable. I already, I already cut the word lace out of here already. So let me see if I got, oh, there's another one. Or we could use vintage. What should we use, you guys? Vintage? No. Mm hmm. Lovely, that's a good word. I could use lovely. Let's use lovely. I'll probably cut it down to fit in that little bitty space. Oh, I love these. I'm gonna be making a ton of these to go in my journals and my pockets. I think these are gonna be fun. So if you guys have scraps of fabric or you know, you can use whatever you have. You can use papers if you don't have fabrics. Get a new scrapbook paper. You can use whatever you have. I'm gonna cut that down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go like this. Oh, what I think, I think um, my next door neighbor who's on the corner, technically, she's the one who has the yard that runs along our front yard. I think she got a new gardener. I think she let our gardener go. We all have the same gardener. Well, we had the same gardener. She didn't like something he did, I guess, to her roses, so she fired him and um she keeps getting new gardeners, though. She's been through, like, five. <laughs> and I think they came today to work in the yard. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not sure I like that. I feel like it needs something. Kind of want it to be semi-wonky, you know. Let's see if we can... Gosh, I really am gonna run out of time. What was I gonna do now? What did I, what did I want? I wanted a little bit of that. Oh yeah, so I was gonna cut it off. How wide do I want it? How wide do I want this? Mm. Write it the word year. Let's cut that off. See that little bitty scrap we cut off earlier is going to get used. Cool, right? I try to use every bit I can. That's why I don't always have very many scraps because no sooner than I make a scrap, I use it before I'm even finished with the project. Let me go like this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go like that. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know if you can hear that. Hold on a minute. Sorry guys, I'm sorry I left you, but oh my goodness, the lawn guys. The the window to the guest bath was wide open and that sound was coming right in that window, right into my studio. Oh my goodness. I must really be tired. <laughs> So let's try getting this on here. I mean, I don't know if I like that. I'm, I'm really struggling with that. 
Um, how about this? What about if we use one of my pretty little flowers? Oh, there's one. Nah, too bright and shiny. Uh, I have some plain pink ones. Maybe something like that. Let's keep working. Let's keep working at it. We'll get there. I'm looking to see. There's all kinds of these in there in a little box, and they're all different. A little bit different. Some are more shiny than others. Some are more pastel -y. Let's see what we've got here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, there's no way you're not hearing that. I am so, so incredibly sorry. I, I, I. Uh, okay, well, it's just what it is. I can't control that. I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't bother you too bad. It probably bothers me more than you. Probably you don't even hear it. What I'm doing is I'm making a little cluster, basically. Because I want this piece to be done. I don't have time to go back and make another one, you know. Um, oh, there's a top and a bottom to this. And it's really hard to tell which is which, I'll tell you. I'm sorry, was I just off camera? Whoopsie. There we go. And let me do this. Okay, let's go like this. I would like to add a little pearl there, I think. Um, if I can get to my pearls, where are my pearls? Okay, let's see. We've got some pretty little pearls here. I don't know why I'm putting that away. We're going to need it, right? Um, let me get my little pokey tool. There we go. Well, that took us almost an hour, 45 minutes to make this one. That can't be right. I'm going to have to check my camera just to make sure. I haven't used this glue much lately. Honestly, I've been using all my other glues, everything but my art glitter glue. So, so not surprised that it doesn't want to come out. Okay, come on. Hopefully I have another bottle on my desk so if this one doesn't. Oh, that glue doesn't go wet. Oh, there we go. Now I got an air bubble, right? <laughs> okay, let's get a pearl on here. There you go there we have it oh i love that i'm so in love with that that is just adorable oh she's so pretty isn't she gorgeous <gasps> she will look so pretty tucked in to this i think this back is writable i'm actually going to you know we had a little bit of um the paper left here i'm gonna see how a pen looks on the back of this Um, you know, you can write on that beautifully. So I really don't feel like I need to cover that because the word please stands out very well. If you use a black pen even more, this is just a regular pen. So, I mean, I don't think it needs anything on the back. I think we're just going to ink it up a little bit and that will be it. But I think she would look lovely in our pretty new um, pocket pouch here. Or lacy. I want to come shabby vintage something or other, you know. So, let me, all right, it's probably my husband. Hopefully things are good everywhere. 
Like I said, I've got family on a plane right now. So yeah, this would look really beautiful. It's, it's drying, but I think she would be lovely, you know, just tucked in there, hanging out a little bit. I think she goes very well with that. Um, let me see. I think we should see if we can get another one made or I need to see how long my um, video is. Hmm. All righty. Uh, I got to tell you, we have been having issues with our packages being stolen. We've got a new little carrier, not our regular guy, and my packages are now disappearing on a regular basis. So my husband had to go to the post office this morning and complain big time. So let me see what time do we have? Um, we're at 40 minutes. So we got about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, I'm, I'm going to say. All right. So yeah, I'm just was livid. My I needed my ink for my Insta ink and it disappeared out of my mailbox again. Or they're saying they sent they put it in there, but they did not. Um, so the cool part is that what the carrier doesn't know is that Insta Ink has GPS on their boxes. And so because they have GPS on their boxes, they can trace them. And they can ping it, find out where it is, and go get it. <laughs> and, you know, my ink is... I have a really old printer. There's not very many people that use the ink that I use. So, even taking that isn't going to do them any good. I, I just don't know what they're going to do with it. You know what I mean? I want to write down four by six and three quarters for my tags. I like this size that we ended up with. And I think, wasn't this the six inch one? I think I really like this at four by... Six, yep. I think that's going to be my uh, my journal tag size that I want to use. So this one's a little tall. We will again use our our cutter. But you know what? Yeah, I think we'll do that. The only thing is, sorry, I'm I'm so undecided here. Um, the only thing is with the papers, I would rather cut it after because it's going to be too hard. Now I can use the same paper. No, I can't. I don't have enough. Nope, I don't have enough. Let's use, I think I decided to use that one, did I not? Yes, I did. So let's get this glued on there. I mean, I know you don't see a lot of it, but still, it's, you know, I may use this part. Since you don't see a lot of it, I may just go up and down on this. Why, why do it the other way, right? So let's do that. Sorry, that's my garbage you hear. I'm going to move my mat down. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so excited they found my ink. I needed it, you guys. I'm out of color ink, and I need to do some printing. You know, I did some printing. I printed all these ladies, reprinted them, because I have used so many of my cabinet cards. These are all Artie Mays. I think I said that before. I love these. Everyone asks me, where do I get them? Um, and I get them from her. I also get the ladies from um, Taylor Made Journals from Lorna over there. See, these are, these are them, and... They are so lovely. In fact, someone was asking me. I want to see if I could find the one she was asking me about. She's a lovely. I don't think that's in here. Oops, okay. Well, someone was asking me where I got one of my images, and I told her I couldn't remember, but I was pretty sure. I wasn't positive, but I was, ugh. Oopsie. I was pretty sure it was from Artie Mays, and indeed it was. So if you've been asking me about an image, um... Let's see, is she here? No, I don't see her. No, I don't see her. There was an image that someone was asking about on one of my um, journals, and um, I, at the time, was not positive where I got it, but it 90 good amount of my images come from there. Not all of them. I get them from all over. I've been collecting cabinet cards, um, real ones and digital ones for years, for several years, about three years. So I have a huge, huge, huge selection. Some of them, you know, have been given to me. Some are um, originals. And then I have, of course, digitals, you know. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, 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 oh. Can I get it off? Not ripping the paper. Ayah! Gosh darn. Let's try again. Let's 
Let's do this again. Let's try it again. <laughs> All right. Whatever we get, we get more stuck with it, right? We'll just live with it, whatever I got here. I may have to do some cutting, right? Some extra cutting. I'm gonna have to clean my scissors after that's for sure. Full of glue. I love my glue stick. Uh, someone was asking what I use, and I use Scotch Create. The Scotch, regular Scotch um, glue is also good, but here in America, we have Scotch Create. I don't know if you can get that one in Europe. But I know there is a Scotch glue you can get there because I've seen Artie Mays and I think Camilla Crafts using it. So I know that Scotch is over in Europe. So, okay. Now that's kind of wonky and crooked, but that's okay. We're just going to leave it because we're going to cover it anyway. And remember, this was a little long. So we're going to go ahead and cut both ends. And let's see. I don't want to cut quite that much off of that end go there. Now let's see if we can make this right at six. Right there. There we go. See, that worked out okay. Oopsie. Ugh. I'll just clean the floor later. Yikes. Okay, and then we're going to just take a ton, because I want the sides to have that little wet. Doesn't want to cut. Crafting gods are not with me today. That's okay. Everybody has days like today. Which just goes to show you, just keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward. You'll get it. Just keep moving forward. Now, I feel like she's a bit big, so I would like to uh, narrow her down a little bit. I feel like there's a little too much of everything going on there. So, um, because she does put a lovely, lovely papers and lace around these. So, I usually have to... Give them a quick little cut and fit what I need. And then I want to round the corners. It is getting on lunchtime. Okay. All right, so then we also want to do this before we get going. And I know it looks like it's crooked, but it's not because when I look at the back, it's perfect. So it's fine, you know. Oh, you know what? I might as well round it since I'm going to all the trouble of inking. Let's just get her done. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling right along. Yeah, there goes my um lovely... This mat is not flat because it's sitting, there's a, a glass mat in the corner over here and it's sitting up on the glass mat. So it's uh, not level, which doesn't bother me to work on it like that at all. Oh, I love this fabric. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? This one I may not rip because I really don't want to waste any of it. Well, maybe I'll rip it. I don't know. Fingers crossed, you guys, that I do this right. If I leave enough like that, I think we'll be okay. Yay. That leaves me enough to do a cover. I want to do a cover with these. Oh, these rose fabrics are going to be fabulous for journal covers. Oh, my goodness. I'd like to just make some covers to sell, you know, not a whole journal, but just covers that I've made that, you know, you guys could use in your work. Um, what do you think? Does that sound good? I think I'm going to try it um, very soon. Oh, so pretty. And then she's going to, wait, was she going on there? Yes, yeah, she was. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, I feel like she needs some kind of lace. What do we think? White? Oh, I don't even know if I want to put lace on there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I feel like that that just takes away all that pretty fabric, doesn't it? What about... 
about if we use, oh, 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 excuse me, I had to get up. Hold on for a minute, let me think. I'm looking for my white netting or my cream netting or any of my netting. Huh. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I got it, I got it. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Alrighty, so what I think I'll do is cut this. We don't need it to be huge, right? We just need... I will be watching for the mail truck to deliver my ink because they said they were going to go get it. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, you have no idea. Just made me sick to my stomach to have two packages stolen. Erin from Scrap Cabin, I had to let her know that I had an order stolen. Now, she's not responsible. You know, once she ships it out we're on our own, but, um, I just let her know it got stolen. You know, she's a sweetheart and she is helping me with that. And so I will have what I need. I have to tell you fabulous customer service. Go visit Erin at my scrap cabin, because that is where I get this, um, seam binding. And it's my favorite. It's the best quality I've worked with there. I bought it from a lot of places and I have to say, I really, really like her quality as well as her colors. So it's my scrap cabin on Etsy and Erin is the owner and she is just has fabulous, fabulous customer service. She's been so helpful and kind and, um, helping me to get, get that replaced. And because she was sold out of the ribbon so I don't know what she's gonna do to help me if she's making new stuff or got new stuff in since the last time but I was lucky to get it and what I needed and then to have it stolen I was like oh so upset <sighs> but it happens what are you gonna do oh yeah see I love the netting over that oh that is my mailman I'm going to have to end my video. Sorry, guys. Gotta go. I love you guys. I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.